In the constituency of Wolverhampton North East, the percentage of adults with qualifications is significantly below the national average. According to data published by the BBC, 15% of adults hold a qualification of degree level or equivalent, compared to the national average of 27%. The similar patterns in relation to low levels of qualifications, such as GCC and A levels, it has an impact not just on the economic prosperity of the area, but also on the aspirations of the children in our local schools. If you're elected, what will you do to address this issue? I'll come first to Star, then Ian, Becky, <coughs> Emma, and Darren, please. Well, as I said before, um, with regards to education, we've made vocational education equal and as well invested in as academic um, education. That's what the Germans do, and the Germans have built a really strong economy on that by making sure that a person who has skills with their hands is equal to somebody who has skills with their brain. Um, we'd also bring them to grammar schools, um, back into uh, use, so that poorer children from less wealthy families can get a better quality education if it is what they want. Um, and basically that's, you know, I mean, you can't force people to education, you've got to slowly do it and it's going to take time for it to build back up. Thank you. Ian. Education is a key, fact, key part of the Liberal Democrat Manifesto, always has been, regardless of the party of, of education. I'm, I'm very disappointed with that there's been less progress in Wolverhampton as I'd uh, hoped for. I personally, um, I was pleased with the education that my kids got in Wolverhampton School. They've both gone on to, to, to good things. There's been a culture in, this, in the West Midlands for too long um, of, of low education achievement. Um, it's not going to be easy to, to dig ourselves out of it, but one thing would help would be better uh, pupil teacher ratios. Um, as far as uh, vocational um, education is concerned, I'm totally against that. I went to a grammar school in my small town. Two thirds of the kids there moved, uh, went to secondary modern schools. One third went to grammar schools. Effectively, that was the scrap heap for those two thirds of the, of the population that's now. Well, I don't want to turn. I don't want to turn the clock back to those days. I want a, a decent, progressive, modern education system where all kids are well educated. Thank you, Becky. Um, yeah, first off, uh, the Green Party will be academies of free schools back into local control. I'm a teacher. Um, I see on a daily basis we have people who are being from agencies who are instructors teaching, uh, teaching assistants teaching. We want fully qualified teachers actually teaching children. Um, and we also want qualifications that other countries would recognise as well, because we do have people trained in this country that other countries wouldn't recognise as opposed as teaching qualifications. We also need to close the gap between the southwest of Wolverhampton and the rest of the area. How many of our children really access uh, the grammar school, the girls' high, the rural school? How many? Not many, really, is it? So we need to make sure um, that more people go into higher education. Yes, in the southwest, it's about 85% in some of those schools. But in other areas of Wolverhampton, it's only 6 to 7% that are going to university. So there's real problems around literacy as well. Yes, you know, not everybody wants to go to university. But if you do, you know with the Green Party that you won't have to pay fees and you would have the debts wide. I would not have a degree now if I'd have to pay those fees as well. So yeah, it would be nice to have the options of apprenticeships, um, go on to college and go on to university, but not have it dictated by your family group and your postcode. Emma? Thanks for the question, Joanna. Um, a few points on, on a more national level, when you asked specifically about Wolverhampton. Um, the first thing to say is to reiterate what I said earlier, which is uh, a Labour government would protect the education budget in uh, real terms. We would end this government's experiment with unqualified teachers. So we will make sure that every teacher uh, who's in a classroom is qualified. And we'll also make sure that teachers have access to continuous professional development um, throughout their careers. We'll introduce a cap on uh, class sizes for five, six and seven year olds. And um, to come to your question about what we're going to do 
Um, and you actually asked about adults as well. Um, I talked earlier about the compulsory jobs guarantee for young people, which would be if a young person between the age of 18 and 24 is out of work for over a year, they will um, be guaranteed a, a job with training. For adults, it would be if they are out of work for more than uh, a couple of years. And what I think we need to make sure is that um, both young people locally, but also adults, um, have access to training so that they can retrain and reskill. Because if someone loses their job in their 50s, it's really, really difficult uh, sometimes to get back into work if the job that you have been made redundant from hasn't given you transferable skills. So we certainly need to help those people. On education in Wolverhampton, we haven't been near the top of the league tables. We've been near the bottom. It's something that I've been working particularly hard on in the five years I've been the MP here. We need to do much better in Wolverhampton in terms of uh, the level of education that our young people are getting in our schools. It's a very complex issue. It's one that I can't explain in 30 seconds, um, but it is something that is a huge priority for me because one of the reasons I came into politics is that I believe that young people, whatever their background, should get equal opportunities to get on and flourish and do that. Thank you. Can I say what Anne speaks? Um, I read the, the acoustics in this building. I mean, if anyone's talking in the in the views, it's quite hard to hear what's happening in the front. So please, um, just keep things moving. We could just avoid conversation in the views. That'd be very helpful. Thank you. Darren. Well, we can put our hands up like we did at school. <laughs> um, so uh, certainly with the Conservatives, we maintain the amount of money that follows each child into, into school and make sure that there's a primary school uh, place for every child, for sure. As I mentioned earlier, you know, raising the um, cap on, on um, the numbers that we go to university as well. But I was speaking to um, a constituent from Bushbury, in Bushbury North, and um, he was saying that both his children got on a bus and went to a school outside of Wolverhampton because that's the way he can make sure that his, his children got a good education and they're doing fairly well. And that's really something we really do need to address. Now, um, I think, and part of things, that the free schools is, is a good way of doing that. And what you're doing is you're making a system that has competition involved in it. Like the military, when you have somebody at the top, leaders make that big difference in a school, the headmaster, headmistress, is so key what they're like and how they perform, it just reverberates through the school. So you get the best, making sure that they take on the academies and multi-academies and going forward. And it's proven that they're, they're, they're improving standards. And, and, um, and, and you know, British Seed School, for example, which is open, open to all, getting out of standards, but you know, doing it in a slightly different way, doing it in a free school way, faith schools that we get and so on and academies do seem to be working, so we'll continue that. Thank you very much.